Well, it's Monday, Gate City. Good to be able to spend a few moments with you this morning. Just thinking about Jesus' command to go forth and make disciples, about being on mission. As you know, yesterday we talked about the, the two things that are most important in order for the church to be united is first realizing that we only have one enemy, and that enemy is Satan. And then secondarily, not losing sight of what's important and focusing on the one mission we have, which is to, to reach lost people. And I thought about how difficult sometimes that is for us to, uh, to reach out and risk sharing Christ with others. And I don't know why it seems like a risk for us at times. I think maybe we fear rejection or we fear we don't have enough knowledge or don't quite know what to say. But you know, a long, long time ago, um, someone said, you know, sharing Christ is simply one beggar telling another beggar where to find food. And I think that's so true. The message of Jesus is about those people who are in the world who have the need of Christ in their life, simply talking to someone else who has already had that need fulfilled. And so for us, it's not that difficult if we look at it that way. All we need to do is share what Jesus has done. We can share with someone what our life was like before Christ. We can share with them how we encountered Christ and made that decision to turn our life over to Him. And then finally, how our lives have been changed since we met Christ. Those three things are what's really important. You don't need a degree from a Bible college. You don't need to know the Bible backwards and forwards but you do need to be able to explain what Jesus has done for you. So today I want to encourage you to be on mission. And when you get the opportunity this week, because I'm hoping that it'll happen for each and every one of us, that you'll be able to simply share with someone that life-changing message that has impacted you so much. Telling them where your life was, how you found Christ, and now how you've changed because of Him. And maybe that's exactly what they'll need to hear this week so that their lives can be different as well. God bless you. Have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.